So, here I am out on Bonfire Hill again, where we left off in the last video, and today I'm going to go just across Bonfire Hill to that little track over there, and that's what we'll be, that's what we'll be riding for the first part of the day. So, let's go get some morning laps on it. I like this helmet here. It's pretty sweet. I hope you can take me seriously. Anyways, that's gonna be it for laps on this little turn track behind Bonfire Hill. I've always called it the little turn track behind Bonfire Hill, but you know, it's not the most super creative name in the world. So if you got anything better, let me know and maybe I'll start calling it something different. But it's actually getting really dusty down there. A lot of powder is developing. It would be really cool if uh, monsoon came through and just like really heavily rained on it because then it creates this like super i don't know just a really nice thick sand that you can ride across when it's wet it's like you can pick it up and make a snowball with it but that only happens if it rains which is might be asking for a lot right now but maybe we'll stay hopeful and before i wrap it up for the day i want to go practice some slow wheelies and i think i feel like there's been a couple times in the past week that i might have gotten to a 12 o'clock wheelie um, I think it'd be really cool to get to a fender scrape, which would be like a 13 o'clock wheelie on a KTM. So we'll just start adding numbers to the clock, I guess. And yesterday I tried doing it on a downhill for the first time, because a lot of people say, um, especially on the bikes with a shorter fender, that it's a lot easier to hit the fender on the ground when you're going down a hill, and which is also really difficult. <laughs> 
So I think I'm gonna practice that and see if I can get into a slow wheelie while on a slight decline. Well, still got a few more inches to go until I can hit the rear fender on the ground. And those were like the top four attempts out of about an hour, those clips that I put in, about an hour of practice. So still got a ways to go, but slowly getting there. And I am gonna wrap it up for this session, but there's still a lot to be explored out here. So there's definitely gonna be some more Red Hills exploring videos.